Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome luxury tag axle motorhome from Thor Motor Coach. This is a 2021 Thor Venetian model F42. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Venetian and three things we don't like about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's World's Only Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited to be taking a look at another diesel pusher, this one being a Thor Venetian. It's not their top of the line, it's not a Tuscany, but it's definitely a big step up from the Aria. I'm super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hey, everybody! How's it going? It's going good. I am so excited. I have not seen a Venetian, I think, since Michigan. Yes! So, you know, I like the way they do their interior in here, so I can't wait to see it. It looks so nice. I'm super excited. Andrea, let's begin! Model is Venetian F42, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 42 feet 10 inches. This is a Thor Venetian. It sits on what's called an XCR Freightliner chassis, which is gonna be raised rail. Also, it does have the tandem axles, okay? It has the ISL 8.9 liter engine. It is 400 horsepower with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. This unit is absolutely awesome. Right up here, we have the nice big windshield. Again, I really like the Venetian brand. I feel like the Thor Tuscany brand, there's just too many other alternatives out there in that price point. So this is their sweet spot for Thor. Right under here is the generator. I say it's coming only in 10,000. What do you say, Andre? I say 8,000. Well, let's check it out. Oh, I need the keys. Winner buys dinner? Yes. <laughs> All right, Matt, now time for the reel. Here we go now. <laughs> no peeking, come on. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> 10,000. Oh, darn. Well, you're nice. always right about these things. Nice, nice. Coming zone in, 10,000 generator. Is it on a slide-out tray? It looks like it, yeah, right? Yeah, it appears to be. Yep, very good. How do you like the lights right there? I think they're nice. Yep. Coming on down the side here, we have a front bus-style door. Nice mirrors right here. Great big chrome mirrors, left side, right side and it does have cameras in it. We have a door awning and an, and an awning right there. It is super windy in Virginia, so we're not gonna put them out. I love the frameless windows as well. And you have dual Phillips on both sides right there. And then look at these tires, and they're the Michelin's. I love those. 295-80R22.5 with the AccuRide rims. Nice. I swear we unlocked it. I thought this. you opened that too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got the titty. I was Gosh. like Twilight Zone for a second. Nice insignia TV sound bar right there. And some storage down here. Yep, very nice. Aluminum slam latch doors. I, I love like these. blue. I like the blue and the gray. Yeah, it looks good. Right here we have a Moride slide out tray because we have that XDR raised rail chassis. Right, and this slide does go both ways. Yes. Slide out tray. Yes. And then we got more storage here, I think. Yes, ma'am. You got power right there. Ooh. What's that? Essential vac. Very nice. And then here. Oh, here's where you fill up your potable water phone, Drea. Potable, potable. Interesting. Right here, that? just like a side marker light. Okay. And then, so check this out. This this has the V-Ride. Um, it's a steerable tag axle. Okay. Very nice feature. Like, I know what that is. <laughs> uh, so it just makes it a better turning radius on the tandem axle motorhomes. And how you can tell is, the way I tell is, see that wheel? I call that an Innie. And when it's an Audi, that makes it a steerable tag. Awesome. Right here's just some of your electronical components. Uh, battery disconnect for the chassis. Very nice. Batteries. Yep, some batteries right there. And then coming around the back, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 
Again, XCR 400 horsepower, very nice, very middle. You know, it's better than the 360, yes. but not quite that 450, you know what I'm saying? And we got the tow. Yes, 15,000 pounds of towing, which wow. is awesome. Backup camera right there. And we do have a one piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. You ready to climb that roof? Here we go now. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Up here on the roof, guys, I might be wrong. This looks like it might be a fiberglass roof. I'm not sure. You have not one, not two, but three air conditioning units. I love that. Right here, you have your solar panel already on the roof. Max air fans and everything. And right there is your wine guard digital antenna. And right there, you do have your satellite dish. Here we go now. All right, Matt, hold on. Slow. Take your time. Okay, last step now. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What did RV salesman's goal take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. What was that? Peace. Why? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just felt like doing peace. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I want to check something right here. Oh, no. Don't climb another roof. I got something. I got something, but it's a secret. Right. Got to stay till the end to find out. Uh oh. All right. Finishing up with the driver's side. Lots Man, of look at those batteries. Very nice rocket batteries right here's gonna be a fill for your DEF okay coming on down the side here Ooh, here's your wet bay very okay. nice outdoor shower water filtration system and everything wow. black and gray tank dumping your fresh water hoses on a reel the other side of the storage everybody and then look at that 50 amp power cord surge guard protector also on a reel nice Real impressive. Other side of the storage. That's the other side. And this is your Aqua Hot 250D water heater. So there's no propane on this coach. And Andrea, bing! There's the specs and everything so anybody who's watching on TV can see the specifications about this motorhome. Well, Andrea, the outside of the motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm waiting for you to skip. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going in and you get the cargo carrying capacity. All right, thank you. Cargo carrying capacity. Whoa! What? 9,830 pounds. That's insane. Yes. All right, look at this, guys. The slides are in. So, as you can see, look at this walkway. Wow. I am surprised all the room that I have to walk through here with the opposing slides. And it does get tight right here, you guys. As you can see, there is a half bath. Um, it is tight to get into. Matt, do you yes. want to record me going into the bathroom so people can get a better idea? Yes, and Andrea, I learned a new magic trick. Watch the slide outs come out. Wow! Yeah! Look how big and spacious it is now. It's beautiful. Look at this, you guys. Yes. And then look, they did put carpet down to help not get it dirty. And Andrea, I would like to take a quick That's second. That's cardboard, sweetie. That's what I meant, cardboard. <laughs> I would like to take a quick second to thank our sponsor, My Waggle. My, if you guys don't know, My Waggle is an RV digital thermostat. So this only applies to people who bring their fur babies with them. If you go someplace camping and you can't bring your dogs with you and you leave them in the RV, please listen. My Waggle is a RV temperature thermostat. And what it does is you plug it into your RV and it sends you notifications on your phone. If it gets too hot, if it gets too cold, or if your RV loses power, okay? So the reason why that's important, if you guys are out to dinner and your RV loses power, it's going to send you a notification via the app via email and via text message. So even if there's no Wi-Fi, it's still going to let you know. Let's you know that, hey, it's getting too hot or cold or you lost power, dinner's over, it's time for a doggy bag, pack up your meal and go back to your camper. It's the best way to ensure that your pets are gonna go A-OK, -okay, especially if you go to Florida in the summer, or Arizona, or even places like Myrtle Beach in the summer where it can get too hot yes. or too cold. So if you have a fur baby, 
and you bring them camping with you, what do they do, Andrea? You've got to protect those fur babies. Go down to the description in the link below. We have a, we partnered with them and we have a custom URL. Thanks so much to my wag. Absolutely, and you're gonna get a great discount. All right, Andre, let's get started with the cockpit area. So up front here, you have the nice digital ja da da dashy, digital dash screen. Right here, you have your auto leveling, all your control panels right here. I love the cup holders and everything. Everything is super nice. It's the freight liner, so we have the telescoping steering wheel in, out, up, down. And then, wow, look at this. That is an awesome screen. So look how big that is. Obviously, we're going to click motorhome. the biggest in the industry, right? Yep. You type in your height. Let's type in 13 feet with, let's go to the biggest and biggest. Total weight, total weight. Oh, you can enter your own weight. You enter your own weight and everything. Boom, look at that. And it lets you know where's safe, where's not safe. You type in if you have propane, which this one doesn't. And that is an awesome feature. Wow. You got your cup holders right there. Also, you're able to see your camera screen, left side, right side, and reverse. You got your maps, your music, your everything. That's pretty Very cool. Very cool. Andrea, sit in my co-captain's seat. Wow. Oh, it's very comfortable, you guys. Yes swivel bow chairs do swivel this one does have a footrest i like the thor embroidery on yes. the back of the seat and it is power yes and you have a cup holder over here uh -huh. we got our panels there is a step cover that goes over there to cover that while we're driving perfect and um there's some cabinets up here I oh think. wow yeah so let me check that real quick to see what's in here guys look at that so you do very have nice storage. my i I am not a fan of dark wood, but I like this. It's the matted look. It yeah, looks very, I mean, very good. I like it, and it's modern, so I like that. This goes back deep. You got speakers, yep. you got your Samsung TV, you got your motorized privacy shade here, daytime and uh, privacy. Yep. And then we have, oh, they're hard to open right here. Looks like some. For your satellite yeah, and your Blu ray player. Line guard, digital antenna, and then we got over here some more storage and mat yes um yeah they gave you the daytime right there and the slow rise yep and we have a bunk over the cab well, first andre we do have an air horn oh but we're not trying to be rude so we'll just do a oh that that up. was weak I think matt. Was out of matt that's a very weak horn oh we're out of air don't worry there is an air horn okay. and, go, oh, oh. <laughs> and, and then check this out we do have a, a bed Bunk over the cab, which you don't see too much in nice big diesels. And look at that. 500 pound max. Very nice. Yes, 500. And look at that. That's good size. Oh, I like that. Very nice, nice size. Big, Again, good size bed. TV up there. Very, very nice feature. And you got I a ladder. Say. Yep. And it's a nice easy glide. It's not messing up the seats or anything. And then check out this living room area, I like, Andrea. I like this. Look at the floor plan. You have opposing seats here you got this three-seater sofa mat yes we're gonna start right here and then the entertainment seats so big 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 storage and the cabinetry just looks fantastic how do you like the balances i don't i don't hate them okay do you love them no i don't love them and i don't hate them Net neutral. They, they actually look yeah that's it they're just neutral and i do look at the light sconce over there matt i like it a lot and then right here we do have theater seats and it is very nice. You got your cup holders here, a remote Ooh, holder right there. That's more than a remote holder. Oh yeah. What? You could fit a bunch of stuff in there. My goodness. And then right across this is where the TV would go. Now, before we do, notice how many windows are right there before the TV comes up. Wow. That is super duper nice. That's a big window too. It is. With the push of one button, the TV will automatically come up. And then you have a tri cushion sofa right here. Now this, Jackknife, isn't it? Oh, yep. Yeah. It's a jackknife bed. But which, it's really long. But it's really long. Right. So somebody's tall. And then look at that. Even with the TV up, you still have plenty of window space. And you got a sound bar up there as well. Uh, uh, Very uh. nice. Very nice feature. And you still have that window over there. So you're just getting some sunlight still. Very nice. Well, that's weird. What's wrong? 
the TV raises up automatically. Oh. But you have to hold it to put it down. No big deal. That's not the end of the world. Oh, no. And then show the cabinetry above the dinette, please. Okay, so going over here to the dinette, we have three cabinets. Very nice storage. Awesome. And more windows. Yes, windows all the way you around. never have enough. Now look at this table right here. Very nice and comfortable. Solid surface. See, a lot of people don't do this enough. I like this back seat here. That's a nice position right there. You know, this is how I would like to sit and I'd be working on my computer just like this. This does drop down to make a bed and you have cup holders right there. Seat belt and storage underneath, it looks like. I don't think so. No? Oh. Storage is gonna, well there is, but it flips up this way. Oh, okay, just, it tricked me there. It looked like a drawer, okay. Yeah. That's a speaker, huh? And let's see if there's any other on this side. I was showing this carpet right here. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, it looks like an outdoor well, Yeah, carpet. yeah, no, I like that. It's better than carpet. That one's, that one's pretty good. You got storage in there. Yes. And behind you. A nice mirror with a fireplace. And look how modern it is, how they did that backsplash on there. Or that yes, backing yes. It. And that fireplace does produce electricity. Look at this very nice. Yes, I do like that. It looks really good in here. It's very modern, contemporary. It looks great. Okay, give me a second, Andrea. Somebody's calling me. Do I know what time it is? No, what, what What? time is it? It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> good job, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. She was like, why are you taking a phone call in the middle of the review? MSRP on this motorhome here is $439,343 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we have it currently 23% off to $336,995. That is a phenomenal price. But Andrea, we can get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're ready to, if you, if you're ready to buy this RV, click tab number one. That takes you to a team member of mine at General RV, and they will get back to you ASAP and get you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy, perfect. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will work with you to get you to the right steps to purchasing a motorhome. Or if it's just a generalized fan question or you just want to talk, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that every tab has in common? They'll get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea? Let's continue the video. Okay, look at this. Yes. Wow, I love this countertop. Beautiful, yeah, it's like, it's um, different. it looks like it's a planet in outer space. It's just, like it's Jupiter. different. I haven't seen anything like this before. Yeah. So I love that this has adjustable shelf in there. That's great. And I do like this backsplash. It does actually go really good with the whole interior. I call that backsplash ivory leaves. <laughs> yeah. It could be. Yeah. And you got a tower of power Ooh, here. Ooh, that's a nice tower of power right there. Okay, looks like we have a pull-out peninsula, everybody. We'll pull her on out. Hold on. It's always... All right, so you get more counter space. I you like that a lot. Enough. I like that a lot. We got three drawers here. One, two, and, and a three. And one down there. Okay, so we got another cabinet up here. Yes, ma'am. And I like that they put a window in here with shades. And then we got the double sink here. Oh, these things are heavy. Yes, they are. Sorry, guys. This is like our third diesel pusher for the day. <laughs> so my arms are getting a little tired. And we got the extension here. Very nice. And then, oh, look at the pretty lights. Mm -hmm. I did not point that out to check them out underneath here. Oh, under yeah. Them, and then on the floor as well. Oh, oh, I forgot man. they did this. Yes, they do. I love that. Me too. So practical. Very nice. Okay, so we got a convection microwave here. Yep. 
You got your fan up there. Fantastic. Then they continued the backsplash. What's that backsplash called? Ivory leaf. Ivory leaves, yes. <laughs> and then we got the two burner induction cooktop. Very nice. Okay. I like how it's indented a little bit. Me too. Okay, and so then we have three more drawers here. And then you get a big drawer down here. Nice. And we got the residential Whirlpool refrigerator with the ice maker. And even though this is a diesel pusher, because it's Thor, they are doing 12-year structural warranty, six-year lamination warranty from the factory. Nice big refrigerator. Wow. Okay. Very nice. And then the pantry. Sorry, with a water maker and ice maker. Yes. Oh, look at this. Mm. Hold on. Mm-mm-mm. Look at this. Would you look at that? <laughs> This is my kind of pantry. Yeah. Look at that, Matt. Ain't it neat? <laughs> they should all start making them like that. Yeah, that's neat. All right. Perfect. Now, let me point out something here. Yes. I want to point out, okay, that was the fireplace. Oh. Look at the colors they use in here. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the dark wood, but it looks good. No, it looks fantastic. <gasps> Andrea. Uh-oh. Art Deco. Mm. Okay, <laughs> in this back bathroom, okay? Got a little bit of Madison's for your cabinets. And Make look at that light up there. Yes, very oh, nice. Right here, the vanity light. I saw it, I saw it. They're, they're, I going, saw they're it. very modern, they're going with the modern. Very modern, it's almost like we helped design it or something. I because know. I happen to be a very modern guy. Yes. <laughs> right here we have a sink. And okay. the backsplash, they could continue that there. Yep. And. It looks like there is some cabinets here. I, I can't think, tell no, or no. Not, okay, nope. got a floor light. And let me tell you something, Andrea. I'm glad they didn't put cabinets there because my leg would have been hitting the handles to it. Because of the way this is, this is awesome. And Andrea, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Awesome. In a half bath. That's great. I do want to, I want to point something little out. Talk to us. So that window right there. Yeah. I like that it's frosted. Sometimes they don't oh, do a frosted yeah, look do. on it. Yep. And you can see right through without the shades. Yeah, I don't need I nobody look, looking at I it. like that. Perfect. And we got a pocket door here on the master bedroom. Yes, Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Into Coming the master in. bedroom. Oh. Coming into the master bedroom, we have wow. a king size tilt a bed. Oh, and we sure. got some storage up here. Yes, ma'am. Four of them. Yeah. Four cabinets. Wow. So those are two, and the other two are going to be on the other side. Yes. Nice looking headboard back there. Absolutely. Two windows with yes. the faux shades. Yes. And I like this. Look at how big this, this nightstand is. It's in a big. It is. I like that. Yes. And one thing I will point out that I love is the ceiling fan. I yes, ma'am. I love having fans. I have to have them whenever I sleep. So. Perfect. And what do we got here? Right here, we do have a stackable nice. Whirlpool washer and dryer. Over here is, oh, oh TV. Oh, oh, oh Andrea, th Andrea, there's a door behind a door. What's in this door? Let's see. Ooh, oh. electronic components. <laughs> Very, Very nice. nice. Kind of, oh, wow. There's shelves in there, adjustable shelves. Yeah, not bad. And you got what, two drawers down there, three drawers at the bottom. And then you got a wardrobe here. Thank you, Matt. Perfect. And then, look, you got another mirror right there. Very nice. Going into the master we bathroom, we have the pocket door. Yep, show everybody this. Well, let, let me get in the shower yes. first. Yes, look at this shower. Very nice shower. Um, it's almost kind of like a fiberglass, tile looking fiberglass. Very nice, not the biggest in the diesel, definitely not the smallest. Nice glass door and everything. It has a seat. Yes. Too. Show us the medicine cabinet, Andrea. Actually, I'm gonna show this right here first. So this is nice because this pulls out here. Yes. It's actually a pretty good size closet. You got a drawer under here. And then we got a medicine cabinet here mm -hmm. and here. Very nice. I like the double vanities. Okay. Another tower of power. Ooh, that's two towers of power. Backsplash. And then we have another cabinet. Gosh, there's so much storage in there's here. There's just, it's like incredible. Under here? Yep. And then we got three drawers. Uh huh. One, two, two and three. Magazine rack. Three. <laughs> I think they get the gist. <laughs> 
Uh, got a window, got a fan, and look, more cabinets. I mean, this is the amount of cabinets is crazy. This this looks good. Okay. I know the other one I set up there kind of looks strange, but I like this. It's now time for the toilet test All part right. two. Here we go now, Andre. This is a a perfect angle. That's one of those electric toilets. Oh yes. Look at this, Andre. This is the definition. This is what I like. This is what I want. I got plenty of space. And toilet paper, paper holder right there. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Woohoo! And Andrea, as great as this position is, and as nice as this motorhome is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we just dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things that we like about it. Okay. Which one do you want to do first? Three things that we like about it. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I Oops. You go first. Oh, me go first. Yes. Okay. Okay. Three likes. Okay. Ah, uh, I have a first like. Okay. Obviously the kitchen area, but that's not special. This pull-out peninsula is extra wide, which I think looks fantastic. And some of them are so skinny. So the fact that they're wide is just a very, very nice touch for the pull-out peninsula. Well, this is special. Yeah. So I yeah. think we should mention that. Yeah, we should definitely combo it up with just the countertops. Yes. So that's one. Two. Okay. I love the dining area. Yeah, yeah. I Sit in the dinette. It. Yes, the seats are so comfortable. I like that they gave you the hard, the solid surface table. Yeah. And it's just really comfortable. It is. You know? It is. It's just a nice little area. It, the fact that they have this yep. here, which makes it more comfortable. You stole it from my mouth, yep. Yeah. I really do like that. And actually, I know I say I don't like carpets, but this does not bother well, me. Well, it's not a carpet. Because it's only a little bit. And it's like a little wicker material. And it's kind of hiding. Yep, yep. Nope, they did a good job there. So that's two. And then number three, one, we got a combo it again. I like that big screen oh, right there. Oh yeah, definitely. But also I like this big cushion and these big windows. The triple windows, the triple cushion, and that big screen right there. Bigger is better, bigger is everything in here. And they just did a fantastic job with this motorhome. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we just don't like about this motorhome. Boom, boom, boom. Andrea, do you have anything? Um. Yes, I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really just trying to think uh, what I don't like about it, really. It's tough. Um, it's I didn't really see hard. anything that stuck out yeah, of my it's head. It's not really sticking out to me what I don't like about it. I guess if I had to say, nitpick. I'm yes. going to nitpick at this. I was really expecting when we were over here, I was expecting a humongous TV. Oh, really? I really thought there was going to be a bigger TV. That would have been cool. Yes, but it would, probably wouldn't have made sense because of the placement. No, it would have been cool. And another thing I will say. Okay. I'm a little upset about the jackknife sofa. Really? Yes. Okay. I really feel like in this coach, as big as it is, it should have been a full pullout bed. So number one, you wish it had a bigger TV. Number two, you wish it had a bigger sleeping area yes. for the jack. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So that's two. And then let me figure out a number three. I can figure out a number three. You can figure one out? Okay. Figure one out. Man. They, they, they just designed this motorhome super well. They did. They really did. You know what? Um, you know what? I got Oh, And I, we forgot this drawer down here. So oh, hold sure. on, guys. I didn't see these here. Normally you don't have storage under a tilt -a bed but you got two drawers down here, which is kind of nice. So oh! That's awesome. No, I do have a third. Oh, and dislike. one more I lied. One more I lied. There's another drawer right there. Andrea, I do have a third dislike. Follow me! This is a major dislike. Uh-oh. Let's get this uh, power off. Come on out, my dear. All the way to the back. Let me get this closed. I really do like the color on here. Yeah, the color looks great. I think I remember when they used to do purple Venetians. Yeah. Okay. This ladder, it is so close to the back of the motorhome. So here's what I mean. When... See when I'm climbing? Yes. Look at my feet. 
Oh no. It's touching the motorhome all the way up. Oh wow. So people that have really big feet might have a hard time. Exactly. Whereas when you look at that brand, you see oh, how far you, yes, you see what I'm yes, saying? Yes, you can totally see it. So yep. see the length here? And then if you look at that one, you can see the space yep. between the motorhome and the ladder. Yes, I agree. Well, Andrea, wow. that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is the personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a luxury diesel pusher like this, in a few seconds, we're gonna put its competitors right there and there. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. Talk to us. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does watch the videos, guys, and the rep is always reading the comments. Yes. So make sure that you leave feedback. Yes. Also, you guys that have furry babies out there, uh -huh. make sure that you get in my waggle. Burr, Protect burr, burr, your burr. babies when yes. you are being. There is a link down in the description below. Yes. Make sure you take advantage of that and get our discount. Thank you guys so much yes. for watching. And we Andrea. Hope you are well and safe. Thank you. We <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling me thank Th you? Thank you. No, yes, we hope you're well on yourself. <laughs> thank you everybody so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.